Thank you for staying with SABC News. This is SME on Point. My name is Diabo Seto. This month, we shine the spotlight on youth-owned businesses. Our business, our featured business of the week is a Durban-based property development company led by a 26-year-old architect, author, and TEDx curator. In this self-shot video, uh, Toban Indlovu encourages the youth of today to invest in property. This is his story. It's edited by Mango Bangosi. Ndlovu and his business partners are professional architects. According to him, their sole purpose is to create wealth by leveraging on the power of property. Lazosa Group was initially established as an architectural company, doing projects ranging from residential to high-end residential, commercial and even industrial buildings. We have since decided to take charge of the entire process by focusing more on developing the entire project. And this is because we realized that the projects that we used to design weren't coming out exactly the way that we designed them. So taking care of the whole process ensures that when we design, we know exactly how we're going to build the project. So there's no difference between what we designed and the final product. Ndlovu concedes that their business did not escape the harmful effects of COVID-19. But since resuming operations under lockdown level three, they have been inundated with property Which development requests. Many clients have actually realized that you always need a shelter. So they're coming in with the urge to want to build apartments and some are wanting to upgrade their homes because they've spent so much time at home and they realize that it actually has to be a very comfortable space. Lazuza's business model is specifically focused at developing township areas for investment purposes. This is why Ndlovu believes that investing in property will help the youth. He says the youth should try to find alternative investment options. We always encourage the youth to always be actively looking at opportunities to invest, specifically in the property sector, because there are so many strategies to actually enter into property investing. For instance, if you have a property, you can always build an outbuilding where you can be able to rent it out and be able to generate income from it. The youth of 1976 fought relentlessly for freedom. As the youth of 2020, Ndlovu says the month of June reminds him of the freedom he has today to pursue his dreams. The month of June to me means freedom or liberation and is a big reminder that as the youth, we shouldn't take for granted the opportunities at our doorstep. It's also a reminder that we need to take responsibility, especially in the month of June when the spotlight shifts to the youth and everything that they do. With those opportunities, we need to really take advantage of them and always pursue our dreams with everything that we have because we are able and have the freedom to actually take advantage of those opportunities today. Dovu encourages the youth to have an entrepreneurial mindset one that will enable them to have a positive impact on those around them. I've always wanted to have an impact on people and I feel like entrepreneurship is a very good platform that allows you to see the impact that you have on other people, especially in the industry that I'm in, where you get people that come to you wanting to build retirement homes, wanting to have a shelter that's going to be comfortable to live in, and some coming to you with money wanting a tangible investment and for us to be able to have the platform where we're able to guide people like that and actually see how we have been able to assist them is a very fulfilling feeling. Diabo Sito, SAPC News, Johannesburg. Thank you to Toban Ndlovu and uh, his team at Lazuza Group. Um, we did say that uh, this month we're giving specific attention to youth-led businesses. And uh, we have our Facebook page on uh, uh, Facebook. It's called SME on Point. Tell us about your business. Are you a youth uh, that owns a business? Uh, we really would love to tell your story. So uh, we're encouraging all the youth uh, to tell us their stories, entrepreneurial stories, uh, so we can show the rest of uh, South Africa. Moving right along, uh, parenting can be quite fulfilling and also stressful at the best of times. But raising children amid a global pandemic with strict lockdown rules is quite a feat. Not only has this uh, uh, period forced parents to get to know their children better, but they've also had to find creative ways to keep them busy. This is why Yvonne Mabekler, who's a young entrepreneur, decided to come up with what she calls activity Kids. Let's chat to her via Zoom so that we can learn more about her business. 
Oh, I believe she's on telephone um, and not on Zoom. Yvonne, thank you so much for joining us on SME On Point. Tell us a little bit about uh, MAPI's activities. Um, MAPI's activities, it's a business that uh, deals with creative uh, activities for the kids. And the kids, they will be able to, 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 have, to get a time to be busy during this time of lockdown. And, uh, yeah. Now, I know that uh, it was through the lockdown that you actually started this business, and I know that you also have a background of taking care of children. Tell me a little bit more about how uh, this lockdown period has op uh, presented an opportunity for you to start this business. Yvonne? Yvonne, are you still with us? I believe that we've lost Yvonne. We'll try. We'll try. Yvonne, are you back with us on SME on point? All right. Let's take a break and see if we can get um, Yvonne on a better line. Um, we'll see you after the break.